Hi everybody and welcome back to the vlog. We are here in the seaside town of South Korea called Busan and today we are going to go explore south and the west side. We are in what they call the Gumchan village, cultural village, the Gumchan cultural village, which has some historical significance a little bit I would say. So back when there was the Korean War, a lot of Koreans came and sought out refuge in the Gumchan cultural village. It was a safe haven for people back then. And then in 2009, a bunch of students and artists came together and decorated the Gumchan village into what it is today. So it is a very colorful and vibrant place. It turned it into a very big tourist destination now. Another thing that they have are a bunch of cool viewpoints where you can see the whole village in a very good angle I guess you could say and that's where we're going to right now to try to go get some coffee at like a cafe 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 <laughs> at a cafe we were bike dirt tires on paved concrete on the right roads just had the wrong wheels but I see you back in town. You guys, we have made it up to the top of the cafe. And let me tell you, it was the climb to get here. There were so many stairs and so many hills. It felt like we're back in Turkey, but we were rewarded with this amazing view. Look at this. How beautiful is this? Look at all this. Wow, it's like, I swear, it's the Turkey of Korea. We did get some goodies from the cafe. So we've got an Americano and they put some cinnamon sugar on the top. And then here's like a little cookie macaroon it's thing. macaron. Macaron, sorry. And then we got a cheesecake. And then Tim, did you get lemonade? Yeah. yeah. And then look at that view. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, oh, burn it. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. It's a bee. Try to take our cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want it to fall. <laughs> we just came downstairs because Ruby got a little too cold. And she's a Misha Gander, so you need to get used to this cold, Ruby. It's in our blood. <laughs> but down here, they actually do have a huge window that also shows the view too. But there are only like a couple of seats, so. They do have like a little paper section where you can write a note. And then you can hang your notes up on the ceiling or on the wall. We did a little bit of that too. It's really cute. Makes it just a little more fun, especially for the kids. There's also a little chalkboard, so Ruby's enjoying that. We just hopped onto a bus to come to our next stop, which is in Sangdo. There is actually a sky capsule. Yes, yeah, a cable car. And, and it's so glass. Yeah, it's supposed to have. My tears aren't glass, but everything else is. <laughs> Ruby's excited. <laughs> yeah, I'm terrified. Yeah, it's a cable car. It goes over the water. The floor, I, th I think we got the one that the floor is all glass and yeah. the walls are all glass. So, so Shahad's gonna cry. <laughs> but I did want to mention the buses here are a pretty nice way of getting around too. Yeah. but they're extremely bumpy and there's not many seats all the time and no, with yeah. the bumps you're kind of like bouncing around yeah. everybody you're gonna be touching people yeah so. yeah and um, some of the buses here they're tiny yeah. like the one that we went before this one that was very tiny i can literally see the front and the back <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm so nervous. It looks exciting. <laughs> they gave us little suckers for the ride. I heard that if you sour candy, it helps with anxiety. And I wonder if that's what they're for. No. This is crazy, man. Oh, I'm doing it. It's okay. I think maybe the sucker actually did work a little bit. We're halfway through. <laughs> Wow, this is actually incredible when you get past the, the freakiness of the floor. Look at these views. Oh, wow. You did it, Mama. You're doing it. Yep. Yeah. Cut. Tim. This is it. This is it. This is it. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oh, my God. Just hold my leg until you get scared. 
Oh my god, I moved up! Look at the floor! Okay. <laughs> I'm sweating! I'm so nervous, man! I can't believe the floor is so clear! Imagine we see like whales jumping down below us, or dolphins. That would be so cool. Nice dinosaur. Yo, they got dinosaurs here. Yeah, so this is like a, this is like apparently a little bit of an amusement playground type of thing when you arrive, and it's so cute. There's like literally dinosaurs moving. There is, yeah. This thing it teaches kids about dinosaurs and what they what type of dinosaurs. You know what that one is, Ruby? Um, I don't know the name, but I know that that one eats plants. It's a brachiosaurus. Ruby, go stand by it. So apparently this whole place right here is a healing forest. It looks so pretty with all the trees and all the hills. <laughs> I so, feel healed already. Yeah. <laughs> They have a suspended bridge over there that you can go on, but you do have to pay extra for it. You literally have to go down steps, two flights of steps, just to get to the island. We just came to the port to buy tickets because tomorrow we are leaving Korea. So sad to think about, you but it's it happening. I know, but we are going to a new country. We're going to Japan. We're, that's exciting. we're so close to Japan that you can take an overnight ferry from there. So that's what we're gonna do tomorrow. The port was on the way to our next stop. So we figured we'd come and buy tickets because we right. can't buy them online anymore because the reservations are closed. But you can come to the port and buy tickets right. the day before. Yeah, the only thing they had left available was first class tickets too, so. So we're going in first class for the first time. Yeah. We just came out to, to like look at the sunset because there's a big, uh, there's a gorgeous view right here of the bridge and the clouds are also pink in the back and you just have all the fairies and they're huge and it just looks really cool at the port. Alright, so we have just come to I think what's considered Chinatown here and the place is so pretty. They have all these lanterns just like lit up, but it is mega busy. We heard that this is kind of like a spot that we could find halal food in, so that's what we're here for. I think we lost you. Oh, there you are. I thought we lost you. You did for a second. I had to find my way back. Yeah. Wow, this is really cool though. This is cool. This is cool, Ruby? Ah, uh, yeah. We've come to a restaurant that makes Uzbekistani, Uzbekistani? Uzbek? Uzbek? Maybe Uzbek? Uzbek, yeah. Uzbek food. <laughs> We're so excited because we really haven't ever had Uzbek food. We have, in Kashmir we did have like bread that was from like Uzbekistan and I think maybe like a minced meat thing. We haven't had too much of it, we just had a little bit of it and we loved it. And it's always so fun to try different cuisines. The first thing that we got was this rice pilaf and it, it has like lamb in it carrots and then over here I think this is like um, carrot kimchi I don't know if that's what you would call it or if it has a different name but that's what it tastes like it tastes like um, carrots that have been kind of turned into like kimchi <laughs> but it's so so good oh my god do you see this do you see this okay we got the rest of our book thing <laughs> these are some vegetable dumplings and they have some I think potatoes in it um, but they did give us a nice sauce with it. And then over here, we've got some beef dumpling soup. Ooh, look at, look, they put the beef inside of the soup. Carrots, and you can just tell the broth looks so rich, like it's going to be so flavorful. We got some lamb kebab over here, and look at how juicy it looks. Looks so good. Let's see. 
Y'all, that food was absolutely amazing. Now we're gonna try to maneuver our way out of the silk market. It's just so busy. And they honestly have so much going on here too.